Hello everyone, it's Janine here at my studio space with my assistant's dog, canine partner Pugsley, sat next to me as usual. Um, so um, today I thought we'd have a go at creating the, a rainbow of hope. Um, I'm sure um, you've been seeing them on your walks um, in people's windows. I realise I'm a little bit late on the bandwagon with this, um, but I felt that um, it it's a perhaps a good time to be doing it now. The lockdown is starting to loosen, but we still need to remember um, the key workers and all those people that are still working hard. Um, it's still a very difficult time for lots of people and um, the lockdown hasn't loosened very much. And I think it's just a good reminder that we all still need to be um, staying safe and keeping our distance. I don't know about you, but it's really been brightening my day when I've um, been seeing them on my walks. It's lovely to see um, people being creative. And um, I, well, I think when I first saw them, I thought, oh, I can't do that. You know, it's a, a child's project. But I think, you know, it's lovely and we can all get involved, you know, adults or children. So I wanted to um, encourage you, you know, to still have a go, you know. And it's, it's just about having some fun, not... I'm not creating the perfect picture, but, you know, just having some fun and spreading some joy to other people. Um, so I've decided to go um, with a mixed media approach and use lots of different mediums, but feel free to use what, whatever you have, you know, if that's um, just colour pencil or felt tips, and, you know, that's fine. You know, please don't feel restricted by the materials that you have. So today I'll be using a red Posca paint pen at the top, with um, two orange coloured pencils, uh, the Derwent Colour Soft, that um, I decided to go with two because I thought I might blend them, try blend them together. And we have a yellow um, alcohol marker, which is a pro marker. Um, then um, some acrylic, green acrylic ink, and then um, a gelato, um, and then a soft pastel, and then I thought I'd go with another Posca paint pen. And then there's the two grey pro markers at the bottom, which I want to try doing clouds with. So I started off with pencil drawing my clouds, and then I've gone over the pencil with pro marker. I didn't really like this, they kind of bled and didn't look how I wanted, but um, I'll go about trying to um, improve that later. So now I'm starting off with the Posca paint pen with the red at the top. And um, now I'm using um, Derwent Colour Soft pencils. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I'm using two shades of orange and blending them together. And now I'm using a yellow Pro Marker. Um, I'm just kind of adjusting my width as I go along. <laughs> this clearly isn't measured. And it's just a bit of fun and it, you know, it's not accurate, it's just a bit of fun. And now I'm using the um, acrylic ink um, and I'm using some water to spread this out a bit. Now I'm using the gelato. A gelato is like a um, crayon but it's um, water reactive um, and I'm activating that with some water. Um, when I say it's like a crayon, it's it's in a plastic casing and it's actually probably softer than the crayon, but you know, just to give you a rough idea of what it's like. Um, I've used a soft pastel there and now I'm using a paint pen. And now I'm going back in with the soft pastel. Soft pastels are like chalk, so if you don't have any soft pastels, you could always have a go of a bit of chalk if you have some that at home. And I'm blending the soft pastel with my finger. Now, um, I've, that's a blending stamp that I've got there, um, and I went in and blended the colour pencil with it and the soft pastel a bit more. You could also use a makeup sponge or cotton wool bud for blending. Um, now I'm going um, back into the clouds and using a Posca paint pen. As I said earlier, I wasn't happy with how they'd come out with the pro markers. I also added a little bit of pro marker in here to even up the mistake, but I'm not sure that was um, And now idea. I'm just writing doing some writing in the clouds. I think um, storms don't last forever is a really nice saying just to add into the clouds. Um, and then I'm writing the word hope 
under the rainbow and I'm going to go in and zentangle into that in a little while. If you um, don't know much about zentangle you might like to watch um, one of my other videos that's also on my channel that's about zentangle and I'm sure I'll be doing some more zentangle videos in the future but the basic idea of zentangle is to divide up whatever shape you're um, doing in this case um, letters and um, adding in different patterns into the sections um, basically zentangle is um, what I like to describe as adult doodling but I go into a lot more detail in my um, other video it's a very relaxing and mindful thing to do um, so I hope everybody is keeping well and safe at home um, I realize this is a difficult time for everybody um, and I hope that you've been able to find um, any help that you might um, need. I'll leave a link to Mind in the description in case this may be of use to you. This is um, the finished piece. Um, I hope you enjoyed doing this project and I hope you're enjoying seeing um, the rainbows in everybody's windows and uh, it's giving everybody a little bit of hope and almost a sense of community in um, a time when we're not able to actually see each other. Another idea that I had is um, you could use tracing paper, then you'd have a, almost a stained glass window effect when you stick it up in your window. And um, this is um, the finished piece in my window here. I hope you enjoy how we go at this project and um, I'll catch you soon in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.